Welcome to Deep Thought. Most people have an I mentality. Notice it, the letter I with quotation marks in the title. But most people have that. And um, this was one of the very, 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 very few requests that I would do. And it came from uh, Dr. Anwar Dunbar, brother, very intelligent brother, extremely intelligent. And as I said yesterday in a video, I only take requests from someone I've met in the real world. And even then, it's done. And so please don't ask me to do anything if you just a random screen name. I have an agenda. I have an agenda. And actually, this was based on once, um, uh, uh, some things I gave in a speech uh, at a self-improvement summit in front of people. So, um, and this, so this is a part of my agenda, even talking about this. And what's an I mentality? Well, people, there's generally three levels of, there's three levels, not even generally, three levels of consciousness with people. And in uh, many different spiritual traditions, they will talk about this. Um, in spiritual and philosophical traditions. Um, they're, you know, with a group called the Osa Set Society, when they talk about the three levels of man, you know, Sahu, uh, Ab, and Ba. You know, in ancient Christianity, there were three levels. There was a level of the teacher, uh, Yeshua, otherwise known as Jesus. Uh, he was at the highest level. Then the disciples, they were the next level. Then the masses, they were the bottom level. In Confucianism, there was, there is the inferior man then the superior man, and then the sage. But if you look at those levels of consciousness, all of them, you can still break them down. Even you don't have to follow a particular path. So the highest level is a level connected with superior being, a supreme being, God, the highest level. And some people might think they're there and they're not, but most people, are the next level below that is we. So your mindset is when you're going through life, you're doing stuff not just for yourself, but you're, you're touching others. You know, these, it could be something as simple as you're doing, you're making your decisions based on family. You're not selfish, you're giving, you know. Yeah, there's a certain level, you know, there's a certain level that we need to be doing for self, but of course, there's that level, the higher, the we level, you think, okay, what is what I'm doing affecting the community? Let me give an example of that. You know, you might want to make money. You're in business, you want to make money. Now, someone who is thinking about a we, they want to make money, but they also want to benefit people. Those are people in businesses, not just to make the money, but to actually help people become better. So that's a we mentality. And it's a lot deeper than I could probably talk about in um, a 10 minute uh, video. So that's the we, but most people have an I mentality. What is an I mentality? They're only thinking about themselves. Everyone else is incidental to them. Even some, and even indeed, some of them can look like what they're doing is for the larger group, but they're really not. That's an issue, that's an issue, because it's a level of total selfishness. You know, it's that person that, you know, they care only about their needs, but they don't, they don't care about everyone around them. You know, these make lousy parents. You have a lot of parents, they worried about themselves, but they're not thinking, they, they, they'll have their children there, but they ain't really thinking about their real needs and dealing with them, you know? They just there for a little bit. The children are just there. And those are often situations where once the child can get out the home, they gone. And indeed, it, it's the ultimate level of um, selfishness. You know, their actions, they don't think about the consequences of their actions. You know, it could be, you know, it could be the woman who leaves a very good man and the children to chase uh, Mr. Goodbar. 
Now she's just thinking about herself, her own needs. This happens a lot. She's just thinking about herself and her own needs. She ain't thinking about her husband. She ain't thinking about her children and how her actions will affect someone in a negative basis. See, one of the things is part of the we, the we mentality is you do stuff, but you're going to think, okay, how does this affect them? And you say, no, this is going to have a bad effect. I'll use myself for an example. Um, I could probably be a millionaire now. Seriously, I could probably be a millionaire now. And I've said this on my YouTube channel. I can go in on women on a level that blows away all these guys who do so, who got million subs and everything. Or I could take it to a whole nother level. But I say, no, that's not effect. That's not a good effect. That's hurting not even just women, but that's hurting men. You know? You gotta think about, okay, there's a lot of things I could have done in life. But I say, no, it would have a negative consequence. But then someone thinking on the I level wouldn't care. They just care about themselves. They're not really trying to help people. And I ain't gonna be, I'm gonna be real. We see it a lot with uh, actions, what people do. It's just I, 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 you know? They don't care. They don't care how their actions are going to affect someone even close to them. You know, it's a total act of selfishness. Like that, that's a common one. I mean, I use the example of a woman, but it could be a man too. He's not thinking, you know, he got a good family. He's not thinking how his actions, you know, he, he want to go out and cheat and everything. He's not uh, thinking not only how, is it, how those actions are affecting his wife, but also his children. Because one of the things we have to understand, everything that we do affects other people. Everything. We're not alone. See, the problem with the people who have an I mentality, they behave as if they're alone, but their actions, it could be very small. It could be how you're looking at somebody, how you're carrying yourself. It could have ripples. You know, some people are familiar, you know, familiar with the term butterfly effect. You could be that butterfly. You don't know how treat, mistreating someone here can affect you, uh, some, some, uh, someone somewhere else. Because even, I'm going to tell you what, even when I take actions, I just, at best, I try to take the best action. Because even, so, uh, that we think that how we're all intertwined, even when you're doing something you feel is in the best interest of anyone. You don't know who else it affects. So, and, and you know, that's unfortunate, but at the same time, you still have to be cognizant of your actions. But see, when someone's in that eye thing, they totally selfish. You know, they, they, they just care about their own needs. They care about their own needs. You know, really a childish mentality. And indeed, one of the thing, only thing that really keeps them in place are fences put up by more powerful people. I'll put it like that. Because indeed, you could say there are some people, they got that I mentality, but then they're a bit closer to that we mentality. So they're a little bit above, so they can really affect the actions of a great manner of people. And we see that all the time. That's how they keep them under control. You know, that's why we have the laws that we do, you know, because trust me, if we didn't have the laws that we did, people, it could be a lot more chaos. But honestly, if we were at a level where it was more we, it would be a peaceful society because people wouldn't do stuff because they know their actions have repercussions. So I want you all to think about that. Look at your own actions and look at the actions of others. When you see people do something, ask yourself, do they realize who else this is affecting? You know? You know how it affects someone else. Like they ask yourself that. And when you're doing something good, think in terms of, okay, this is gonna affect someone else. You know? Because like for what I do, as best as possible, I'm trying to make a positive impact. Now, there's some people, you know, yeah, I know me. I don't have a problem with the block button or anything. But even then, I try to limit it. I try to limit what I say to the person because I say, okay, this, they might, it might come off as negative to them. But 
I got to think the big picture, the greater good, because I'm, you know, helping, you know, I'm preventing a negative influence that could affect other people. But, you know, and even then, even my actions can maybe help them think about some things. But, you know, you try still as best as possible. So, you know, but that I mentality, like I said, if we didn't have like laws keeping people in place, Bo, now evolution is you think about it. Like if you a fam, you and a family, your actions affect others. You know, you got to think. Okay. Like uh, I remember, uh, you know, when I I was thinking about getting a new car. I had a car that was in an accident. Uh, it, a tree fell on him. Yeah, I got some stories. Uh, literally while I was driving. <laughs> Oh, man. And I remember that time because I remember uh, I got out the car and, you know, the fire department had come and everything. And they were like, oh, man, how'd you survive that? Oh, uh, what number would you play? <laughs> they were asking. But, you know, so car was told I had to think about a new car. And uh, at the time, I was still living with my grandmother, grand step grandfather, you know, mother and sister, you know, all of us in the house. And I had to think, okay, I'd like to get a two-door sports car. But I said, wait a minute, I gotta think family. So I got just a regular four-door car. But that's how you have to be when you're thinking we. But somebody thinking I would just get that, you know, that sports car that only one other person could ride in. And really, a lot of sports cars is really just for one person. So, you know, but that's just an example. So I want y'all to really think about it. Think about it. Think about your own actions, all right? So anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, what y'all really think about that? And it's more, like I said, that is, that's a deeper subject. And maybe I'll approach it again uh, in future episodes. Okay, but anyway, that's all I have. Peace and blessings.